Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, alrighty, scavengers. I've uh, just been spending uh, the afternoon out here cleaning up some scraps. Uh, gonna do a quick little run for y'all today. I don't have like a monster huge load, but we do have a little bit of a load back there with some uh, some uh, iron scraps. Uh, that uh, that bed, we pulled the motors off of it. It actually it looked like it had been like a new bed, but it had a big old dent and it. it looked like it had been dropped. And it was probably one of those things where the manufacturer's like, well, we don't want it back. Toss it out. It's damaged. You know, it's going to cost too much to get it shipped back, that kind of thing. So they just toss that out. We're going to go ahead and scrap it. It's all beat up. Um, water heater, some boxes, piping, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Uh, down here, we've got cast aluminum. Uh, they, most of these, just about all, actually all of this uh from the previous video uh where we pulled those lights out turns out that this is cast aluminum and this is cast aluminum so we've got the two buckets right there of cast aluminum got some cat wire right here electric motors right here a uh, couple of batteries here and uh, some cleaned up ballast right here and what i decided to do i have all those uh trash cans that i found back there I'm just going to bring these up to the yard as I go. That way when I get there, unload everything, throw everything back, and then when I get to the non-fair, just bring this with the trash cans. I'm already ready to go on the cart to the to the uh, scale. Give it to them and tell them to keep the, uh, the trash cans. They love that. Love that. Love that. I know some people are like, well, you can just bring your own trash cans and then they take the weight difference and everything. Yeah, but they don't really like to do that because that means then they have to walk over dump your thing out come back weigh it and do the tear weight on it whereas you just keep the buckets sometimes they even hook you up a little bit you know what i'm saying but anyway scavengers we're gonna go ahead and get on up to the yard make a couple of bucks not gonna be the biggest scrap run but it's still a scrap run and it's all free let's get it scavengers here's how we did at that scrap yard motors 43 pounds 37 cents a pound $15.91 ballast 34 pounds 16 cents a pound 544 cat five nine pounds a dollar 25 a pound 1125 battery I don't know what GP stands for but uh, battery, uh, eight pounds, 21 cents a pound, buck 68. Cast aluminum, 25 pounds, 50 cents a pound, 12.50. And baling iron, 680 pounds, 10 cents a pound. It's actually, it's actually kind of coming down in price on the iron. Uh, 68 bucks. Because this is a grand total, $114.78. So it just goes to show you don't have to have like a full load to get up in the triple digits. You know, when it comes down to it, it really is all about quality, quality. I mean, quantity is great, but sometimes, you know, I mean, like we had just a little bit of stuff and still we had room back here. and We still managed to get over a hundred bucks. So, you know, just got to, you know, sort your stuff. 
this is where you make your extra money for sure but anyway scavengers thanks for tagging along in this episode of going to the scrapyard be sure to like the video subscribe to the channel all that good stuff we got her emptied out i don't know may have something juicy for you coming next <laughs> i really i don't know what we got here